Guys, welcome back to another Elliot Giles vlog. Hello Beast, Beast is in here today. We've also got Ben. Yo, what's going on guys? How you doing? Hello, how are you doing So guys? I'm obviously going to say for him, Ben wants uh, some more subscribers for his channel. I actually don't, I've got enough, but thanks Al. <laughs> so you can subscribe to Elliot. Yeah, do that! This is so cool that I'm actually showing your channel at the because I look, I watch a lot of your videos and I watched the recent one, which was the lemon one, and I was like, Dad, I wasn't even in that video. And for two minutes, I actually felt quite jealous that I wasn't in that video. Do you know what though? What's like a Nana? Nana was 20K amazing. likes, and we said, I said I'll make a song. And you didn't get 20K likes? No, I got two. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's a work in progress. Can we start eating? Yeah. Yeah, of course you can. I, I'm not like. To be honest, I've had so much McDonald's this week, I don't have any anymore. But I'll, I'll pick and things. Oh. But today's video, guys, oh yeah, the Monopoly is still out, so whatever you win is mine. Two second brain in. Today's video of oh, Monopoly, uh, Marley Bone Station. Yeah, there's nothing. You just don't win in these things. Okay. They're just useless, absolute useless. Oh shit, the dog's going. <laughs> so yeah, so guys, I wanted to like sit down with Ben and like get some food because he loves his food and like if you show Ben McDonald's he'll answer I will, do you know actually I will do your vlog for you I will be on anyone's vlog for a McBen George as long food. as you offer him food if you haven't got if you don't offer him food I don't want to do it I don't want money I don't want ice he wants food want, I just want food that's it food <laughs> but yeah so I was going to sit down have a head to head with Ben almost like a 1v1 so guys we're going on tour as you know I'll put the link win. In the description, he's not gonna win. I'm certainly gonna win. But I was gonna ask him, like, what is the visage of like, why do you feel like you need to prank me? Like, what came with this the idea? Visage. You know what I mean? Like, why did you, why me? Like, why can you have like Carl, Tristan, all these other people? Please, you're my brother. Yeah, I get that, but it's like you did that to me when I was a kid. Yeah, the thing but is, why would you still do it? The thing is, um, <laughs> now we're being honest. Uh, the first prank I did was obviously the penny with the water bottle, which you all know the story. Uh, and I hit in his face, the water. So you got really, you got quite, you got angry that day, bro. And I was like, okay, well, uh, his reaction was good, but I, I wasn't looking for a reaction. I didn't want to have a prank show. I didn't want to have a prank channel with an angry person in it. Um, but then I went and did the evil egg. And I threw the evil egg you, yeah, who and you asked you and skits. Then I put the, the iPhone in, the cracked iPhone, and he's like, you swore, like, so you were like, my, Phone! Ben, what the f Bleep that! So, like, that was a video, like, we, like, Ben, like, hates swearing, like, he, he didn't bleep that, because I remember, like, when I watched a video in anger, just thinking, like, like, I had a date that night, I think, and she was just like, oh, I just seen you on Facebook, and I was like, what? <laughs> Isn't that, and, that actually how went down? Yeah, and I was like, what are you on about, like, you've seen me on Facebook, and she was like, I was like, what, yeah, like, what, mutual friends or something, she was like, no, I've seen, like, a video, and I was like, right, okay, so I went on my Facebook, and it, the dickhead went and posted this video, and like, then people started recognizing and going, he's like, I guess angry. I was like, what the hell right. is going on right now? And he was just posting these videos. How did it, how, what was the one? What video? Really, really. Uh, uh, let me ask you first. When, when you first had people coming to the street saying, you know, oh, you're Elliot Giles, you're Elliot this, you're that, you're a dog. <laughs> when, when, when you had people ask you, you're Elliot Giles, you know, what you. Was you scared, nervous, or worried the first time all these people were coming to the streets? You were saying, oh, well, you're the guy on Facebook! Like, or was you just confused? To be honest, like, when it first came about, like, people used to say, like, oh, you're that guy, you're that guy who's just, like, angry, who's got black tooth, and ha ah, you're Captain Black Tooth, all the, all the crazy, like, jokes. And, like, I think the bit that got real, like, the realization of it is when you get people coming up to you for photos, and you think, why is someone having a photo with someone? Because they get angry on the internet. And I just thought, okay, and then, like, the thing that the best part about it, I'm not gonna lie, is the amount of dates I've pulled through Instagram. So, I literally just go in, see a chick I think that looks fit, and just go, what's your Instagram? Get their Instagram, okay. boom, done. So that being said, what That's video? the one benefit he's given me. What? Everything else, the scars, look, look at that, zoom in on that, HD, HDMI, 4K, right what, there. The, the, what video do you think changed your life, essentially. I know all these videos have changed your life, but what video okay. changed your life? What, what made everything like? The one I think. What the, overnight, overnight. What there's was like, a few oh, big ones. No, no, but what's the first ever one that's went, oh, no. oh I've got, I think it's Super Hagen. That video, like Ben rung me, so, I think I was over one of the boys' houses, I think we were just having like a game of card night or something. I didn't have anyone else to ring, I had to ring someone, so I, I rang the person I pranked. He, he literally rung me, and I think the video had been up like two hours, and it had like 60,000 I was on a charity event. It was like 60,000 likes and 2.1 million views and I just thought, like, when he said on the phone, he was like, it's got 60k and I thought, what do you mean, like 60k, like what, views or something? Like, no, 60,000 likes and I was like, 
Okay, that's like pretty average. And that's when I like looked at the view. Yeah, but cam. just to reiterate, likes and views back then meant nothing. Yeah. So he didn't even know what it meant. He was like, and, and I was like, sixty thousand thumbs, bro. Sixty thousand people are pushed, and he was like, so. But if you think about it, like sixty thousand, if you put sixty thousand people in this room or sixty thousand dogs in this room, sixty thousand these in the room, you, it's a, it's a club, you know? Yeah. And if you can actually work this out, um, when we had eight million followers. When, when I got 8 million followers on Ben for his page on Facebook, I did this big status being like, yo, we've hit 8 million, I'm so happy. But 8 million people pushing a screen, the kinetic energy of 8 million people pushing a screen is one ball hell. Which that is crazy oh, to yeah. work that out. Yeah, 8 that million crazy. people pushing a screen all at one time would be one ball hell in energy. So think about it in a weird way like that. That doesn't make any other sense. I don't know. But that was 8 million charged phones with 8 million people who had to sign into Facebook, yeah. 8 million people had to click that video, 8 million people had to click the like button, and 8 million people laughed. Yeah, that was probably the video that changed it all, and then like, I think at the point when he posted Super Hair Glow, I think he was on like 1.4, maybe 2 mil on Facebook for you, something like that. No, like 500k. Oh, 500k, I, to be honest, I don't know. Oh, we just went a Coca-Cola Zero. Yeah! That makes everything so much better. We got loads of these okay. tickets, actually. But yeah, so, that video was probably the one overnight, and there was like some others, like um, you threw like a water, bar, a water bomb out mm. the window, and oh my god! Like I, I remember like hearing sniggling. I could hear like someone going, and I thought nothing of it. I was just like, oh, what the hell is this kind of thing? And like next thing, I'm on my iPad. I got like my cut up uh, orange on the table, and I just see this blue thing, just like, and I'm not lying, my balls went blue. I was in the sink. Putting water down my pants for my balls to come. There's always been more to these videos after the videos as well, where like the actual pain that you've gone through. Where yeah, like, I've got like scars everywhere. I've got like you, one you under my the right shouting, nipple. The shouting. The more and more shouting that I've never got on camera of you. The funniest like, stuff I've ever seen of him, I've never had a camera. But you know what, guys? A question you guys always ask as well it's like, have you ever been arrested? Are you banned from the NHS? And like, honestly, like, Yes, I have been arrested. Like, I got arrested once. Like, we would do it. Ben was doing his first tour movie. And then, <laughs> before you guys realise, so there's like a, like, there's a main road in Bridget End anyway. And it goes towards Cardiff. And I was going up there and I had just pants on with a shirt because he put rollerblades on my feet. Oh. And I was going around the roundabout. And at the time, there was no path there. Now there is. And I was stopping traffic. And Ben, I remember looking behind me and Ben was like in his car. And he went, Police, I went, what? And then he drove off, and no exaggeration, there was blue lights everywhere. Police arrested me, and they were like, what are you doing, you're in decency? And I said, oh, like, my brother's super good, decent, my feet, I can't put my trousers on over. Why are you on the road? This, this is a true story. Trying to, get, trying to get to work, because the pub I was working in was literally, like, half a mile away. And, and we, I, I, had to dro I had to drive off, because the police car was behind our butt, like, whoop, 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 whoop. I was like, oh, I gotta go. Uh, and at the time, we had uh, Farmer Chris uh, working on us well, and he was recording it all, and he said, bro, you should be arrested. I was like, what do you mean you've arrested? He's going on a roundabout, and this police officer just stops in the roundabout, stops all the traffic, like, what, 200, 300 cars? Just puts him in the back of the police officer, and this bus, like, a bus, bus goes past, and I'm, like, standing on, like, this, like, I'm leaning against, like, this, like, concrete slab to stop cars going down this, like, junction. And the bus is just there with their phones, and I can just see the light on their phones, and I'm just, like, just staring at them. And then I, I get to the pub eventually, and they, like, Escort me to the police, they take my details, they say, listen, like, if you, and that was Bob's your uncle, you know, like, I got arrested that day. And like, I've had a few other occasions where I've, like, cut down trees in, like, the most recent videos. I've been on train tracks, which is the stupidest thing to do, so don't do that. Explain the cut down tree part. But yeah, so basically, Ben had uh, sort of a chainsaw to me, me being Elliot, being a prick, as usual, goes, thinking of Christmas trees, cuts down a Christmas tree, Farmer Billy, in Myth of Marrow, tells me off, which I'm sorry if you're watching this video, Billy. And yeah, I cut down this tree and I had to do stories on Instagram, if you guys remember back in December time. And yeah, that was a bit of an awkward one. But I didn't think you would get in trouble for cutting down trees, but then when you think about it, like if they've been growing those trees for years, then yeah, it makes sense, isn't it? It's like another kid. You can't have kids and you can't do semen and then grow trees, you know? But um, this is the, honestly, this is the funniest stuff. <laughs> I just love listening to your stories. I but like, know. there's been loads, and like, another another question everyone always asks me, always asks me, and Ben will vouch for this one, are we actually brothers? I bet you get this question. Every day. Every day, like Every me. Every day. 
every day. No, we're not. <laughs> I'm joking. I really wish I wasn't. Well, no, we're like, we we. Do you know what? Let me just get some straight. Even if we weren't biological brothers. Yeah. Which we're not biological, are we? No, it's we're that. not. We're not biological brothers. But even if we were nothing to do with each other, never see each other, the amount of days we had to spend with each other, and the amount of times and the fun that we've been through, the crazy tours, and the books, and the websites, and the flipping Facebooks, and the YouTubes, like, you go through a lot of shit together. I know a lot of you girls right now watching this, or a lot of you guys, like your sisters or brothers, that you call sisters, brothers, like, oh yeah, she's my sister, she's your best friend. Oh, that's my brother, she's your best friend. But yeah, we've gone through a lot that makes us brothers. But yeah, we've been each other's like. We've had some really time, funny, huh? really funny stories like where like me and Ben got into trouble with our mum. And we were a bit naughty and we ran off to London, didn't we? <laughs> for like four months. And then we just thought like it came to a conclusion where we were just like, why don't we just say sorry to our mum? We've been in a lot of trouble, we've run away to London. And we literally went to our mum and said to sorry and she went, Boy, she can come back anytime. We've run away to London a lot. When we were yeah, younger, we, we used to run away to London a lot. We used to think, we're going to London. Plymouth, we everywhere. We've been everywhere. You can't tell us what to do. We're London runners. And then we were in London. We were like, we've got no money. Yeah, uh, and then we were like, ma'am. Hi, can I get some money, please? We're, we're, we're sorry. We, 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 we're we going to come back. And yeah, like we've had like all sorts. Like I've lost about 100 jobs in the last, what, two and a half years? Name some of the jobs. Name the top 10 jobs. The top 10 best jobs you had, right? Number 10. Barman. Nine. Toilet cleaner. Eight. The rubbish man. The bin one. <laughs> Number seven. Dog walker. Six. Um, janitor. Five. Five. Tesco. Four. Car wash. Three. Ben Phillips' window cleaner in the office. Two. Stripper. One. We won't go down number one. Prostitute. <laughs> Indeed. That is exactly it. But, um... <laughs> But yeah, like we get asked all sorts of questions and people are always like, mm -hmm. and, that, and that's another one, oh my God, he knows what I'm gonna say. If you guys ask me one more time if the video is fake, I swear to God, I will come to each and every single one of your houses and I will shove this stupid <laughs> carp or whatever the f it is straw up your ass because no word of a lie, these things, McDonald's used to be good and have plastic straws and now they're this carp or shit. I will shove them up your ass and you'll be having them for breakfast tomorrow. No, of course the videos are not are blinking, not fake. Like, why would they? Why would I have scars on me? I, why would I you. make a fool of myself in Tesco? Why would I walk out in public? Why would I, like, you know, like, it's so beyond that people can say, well, yeah, you can fake that. And it's like, but how can you? Oh yeah, we just, we have a Tesco store downstairs, you know? Like, no, it doesn't work like Maybe that. Maybe it's because me and the boys are all such bad actors, they think that you're acting as well. I think that's where it's, all oh, you guys think that me and the boys are such bad actors, me and Carl and Tristan, because we're really bad acting, but you just fall for the shit, you're stupid. But it's like, <laughs> but it's, that's not the point. No, but like, it's not that I believe it. It's like, if you're super glued to a chainsaw, then you were chain, you're super glued to a chainsaw. You can't go, it's a make-believe chainsaw, oh, walk outside and pretend you've got a chainsaw stuck to you. It's, I've actually got a chainsaw stuck to me, I cannot get rid of it. I'm gonna go try and get it off. And then, places I go to, they watch me and I think like, at the end of the day, I, oh, it just, it's just stupid. But like, yeah. Okay, what, where do you see yourself in five years time? Oh, this is my mind bang and I'm asking questions. Probably dead. Dead? No. You might be though. Yeah, probably. Depends on crazy the pranks go. Probably. So especially when you strap me to a, a, a van. Who do you think's better, your cameraman or mine? I have to say Carl, probably. Cameraman Carl, yeah? Probably, yeah. Oh, we're yeah. currently McBanging. Come McBang, here. Yeah. Oh, I got come so here, Fendi, come here. Oh, I was thinking, come on, come, come on, jump here. over. Come now here. we got George's, uh, Ben's girlfriend. George's girlfriend. <laughs> Ben's girlfriend has <laughs> joined the video. What's going on, George? What, what was he just eating? Uh, he had a chicken nugget, he did. Fine. And he shouldn't have, but we told, yeah. we told him not to, and he went, oh, don't tell mummy. Why are you having a point about Well, uh, we're just talking about everything. We were talking about whether Elliot and me are his brothers, whether the videos are fake. Um, Elliot's obviously just recently come out, and we're all proud of him for that as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big time. What, baby? <laughs> Okay, if you, to, if you had to marry someone, snog, marry, avoid. Here we go. Ready? Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star, James Charles. <laughs> oh, Jesus. 
Well, I don't marry Jeffree Star. You'd marry Jeffree Star? Yeah, think of the money. Right. He's got bags of it. And then uh, what's the other no, one? Because he's got a good personality. Yeah, he seems like a nice enough guy to be fair, or woman, however you want to. By the way, Jeffrey <laughs> would beat you up though. Probably. Jeffrey would beat me. By the point, marry Jeffrey. I'm just fine. And then Jeff. what's the other ones? Shane Dawson. Shane Dawson and James Charles. And what was it? Snog. Marry yeah, avoid. Who would you avoid? Shane Dawson for catching up with a sociopath? I feel like actually I would avoid Jeff Star because he is crazy and he would just like. No, I would avoid I, no, Shane I, Dawson because he'd expose me. No, no, no. And no. then James Charles, he can dress as a girl, so you'd snog him. No one messes with Jeff Star. There you go. That answers and the Elliot, question. Elliot would be the person they would like to say the wrong thing and then Jeff Star would, would ruin you. You would say something like I'm going to say, you say Jeff marry, marry Jeffrey. Ah, you'd say something like, Jeff, why have you got your sharpies in this drawer? And you'd be like, that's my concealer, bitch. Well, I don't want your sharpies here. <laughs> why is this Fendi bag sitting on the, my, uh, because that's the Fendi chair? He buys I don't know. Animals, but... but like, but yeah, they, I would probably say what Ben said. I'd probably avoid Shane just in case he would expose me later in life if we ever had a bit of a hustle. <laughs> <laughs> James <laughs> Charles, <laughs> don't really know him. I've seen him like on Twitter and shit, but yeah, probably snog James. And then I'd probably have to marry Jeffrey. They would be no. What about yours? Yours are the same as mine. Yeah, exactly the same. What about you, George? She'd avoid Jeffrey. Yeah, because he's like. He is Who would you marry then? Shane Dawson. Um, he's such a nice person. Why is everyone James avoiding Charles. James Charles? I'm not avoiding James Charles. It's not good James Charles. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm avoiding James Charles, aren't I? Will. I, I know I'm avoiding James. Cameraman Will. Snog, marry, avoid. Yeah, here we go. Jeffrey, James, Shane Dawson. Marry Shane, snog okay. James Charles, and avoid Jeffrey Star. Oh! He's, he scares me. So it's me and Ben are the same, and you two are quite similar, right? Yeah, no, because I am Jeffree Star Stan. I'm just saying, like, he will ruin you, like, he ruined everyone else. Okay, Jeffrey, <laughs> please don't watch this, and if you are, unfollow me. <laughs> oh, unfollow G. Haynes. I, th I think, I think, I'm, I'm trying him. to think of another one, Freddie. It's not Mario Boy, Freddie. I'm arguing you one, okay? But these can't bounce back, and I'm just going to ask you these ones, all right? Right. Would you, all right, snog Mario Boy. Thanks, George, for running in front of me. It's not <laughs> Chasing the dog. Uh, snog marry a boy Freddy and on let's pick a some Alyssa Violet, Erica Costo, Zoella. That's a funny one. Oh, oh, oh. The world I face in the No, uh, <laughs> here we go, Elliot, be careful what you say. Jake's Ooh. watching this. By the way, Jake, absolutely no hard feelings in this, bro. Whatever Elliot says is nothing. Oh, there's mustard in there! No, it's cheese. There's mustard in there, bro! That's just melted cheese. That is mustard right, right there! I don't give a shit about the mustard. Why is my brother mustard in the burgers? What would I do? I'd probably. Oh, it's hard. Avoid Alyssa. Really? Yeah. I know, like, she's really fit, but then I think, like, oh, I don't know, like. Too much beef. Yeah, yeah. I think I wouldn't want to get involved, so. There's avoid too much, Alyssa. Too much beef, Alyssa. Way too much beef. You're a lovely girl, though, obviously. Well. Actually, I don't even know that. Yeah, that's what I mean. So, I well, know. Well, delicious. But then, like, I know Alfie when he came down and, like, Zoella and that. I haven't really met them. But then, Erica is really good looking. So, I'd probably kiss Erica, but I'd probably marry Zoella. Again, you'd marry Zoe for the money, though. No, I think I'd marry Zoe because she's I been with Alfie a long time. I think she's pretty, like. So, why would you just pour Alfie? Why don't you snog and let them get. Let, let, let them then. Well, yeah, of course, but this is like if they ever broke up. Let you know? them get through their relationship problems because she snogged you. Oh, then switch around then. But then, I don't know. Like, Erica lives on the other side of the planet. Well, not on the planet, but like yeah, but in America. What if she just said, like, a pay for it? Come with me. To be honest, I would take the LA trip. So, yeah, I'd probably marry them, Erica. You could be in a Victoria's Secret shoot then. And then I would probably say, like, hey, Jake, can you probably say five? <gasps> oh my god. What? Ten pound off glasses. Glasses? Yeah, you can get some glasses now, bro. Glasses? What? Like, ten pound off sunglasses, yeah. Yeah! But, um, what about you then? Same question for you. Uh, Same people. I go G Haynes, so. Yeah, but like, go on! Can't come now. Can't, can't, can't. Can't, can't. Can't, can't. Sorry. Oh, God. Um, I mean, like, look, thank you for having me at your month, Ben. Why aren't you at Coachella? You you should be at Coachella. Oh, do you know what? I'd love to go to Coachella, but I don't get the invite. Right. How have you got one? I get every year. Oh, and you cut that one quiet? Well, no, you can go. Just ask me. Oh. That's a thing we should know. I have one. I don't think I can. Right. Should we go to Tyler? Right now. Day three. We we'll miss day two. Actually, right now. Should we? Sure. Should we? 
Guys, that's the end of the McBang. We're off the Coachella. Me and Ben, we're off the Coachella. Make sure you like, I'm subscribe, so hit the notifications. Wow, I can have 10 more chillers. Let's take them with us. Guys, love you and leave you. Peace.